Hello friends, Osiris here and in today's video we're going to go over the best builds that you can put together in your copy of Scarlet and Violet in preparation for the brand new 7 star Swampert Terror Raid event It's coming to our games later this week. <laughs> So kicking off on the 31st of May and running through that weekend until the second, we're going to see the first phase of Swampert come to Scarlet and Violet. The seven star Terror Raid event for the mightiest Mark Swampert will begin then and it will repeat the following weekend after that from the 7th of June until the 9th and that time it will be returning with the Blissey Terror Raid events that we've seen in previous 7-star Terror Raids in the past. Now, taking a quick overview of Swampert, of course, it will be level 100. It will have its 30 times multiplier to its HP, so it'll sit around that 10,230 HP mark. It'll probably have its hidden ability damp. It's not really going to play into effect in this raid at all. It will be level 100 and it will be a poison terror type. Of course, its base typing is water and ground. So you will have to expect both of those attacks. The main attacking options we can see from Swampert probably going down a more physical avenue rather than a special. But a mixed Swampert is something that we could likely see. So I've put some special based attacks in the mix as well for what we could potentially expect. But I fully expect to see a physical water type attack, either waterfall, liquidation, could see it complemented that with a special version of Surf or Hydro Pump, of course. And then its main poison type attack, I would imagine from a physical standpoint, is going to be Poison Jab. It's going to probably have Earthquake as well. It does get access to high horsepower, so another a single target option that it does have access to. One thing to note as well, it does get knockoff as well. So if you're planning on bringing Psychic types to this raid, that could be coverage that we may see and might play an effect in the raid, although... The chances of it having knockoff are probably a little bit slimmer than some of the other options that we've got here on the list, but it's something to just keep in mind. Ice Punch is probably something that we could see as well. And then if it wants to play along with the Surf or kind of the water type aspect of its typing, uh, we could see Sludge Wave as a special type of poison type attack on it as well because it does get access to that one. Now its setup options are a little bit more detailed. We can see Bulk up there. This is why I would say probably going to go down more of a physical route because all of its setup options kind of lean a bit more towards that physical attack and stat rather than its special attack and stat bulk up boosting the attack and defense by one stage every time it does it, it can buff its defense stat on its special side with amnesia it has got rain dance that's going to boost the power of those water type attacks make it harder to bring ground types into this battle Curse is something that we could also see where it boosts its attack and its defense drops its speed. It does have access to Screech as well. That's something that we'll have to keep an eye on because if it has got access to that, it can reduce our defense stat by two stages every time he uses it. So making those big physical type attacks, especially if it's buffed with something like a bulk up or a curse, could get pretty dangerous very quickly. And then we've got Yawn as well that I'm just going to slot in there because of the disruption ability that it has hits you on one turn, the subsequent turn it will put you to sleep. So something just to bear in mind going into this raid, something we might have to contend with when the raid goes live later this week. So the full breakdown of Swampert, we know it's going to be a poison terror type. So the main attacking options that we're really going to be looking at going into this raid are going to be things like psychic types and ground types. Like I've already mentioned in the overview there, I think ground types are going to struggle a little bit unless they have an ability that gives you an immunity to water type attacks so something like water absorb storm drain could come into effect things that you might want to look at if you're building your own pokemon in game but they're two of the main attacking types that we're going to want to really concentrate on to hit that poison terror type that this one puts got going into this weekend and before we get into any builds of course as well it's worth just noting as well it might be worth holding off putting anything together in game saving resources until the event goes live of course this is all just speculation at this point guessing looking at the options that this one bird has and then surmising some ideas that are going to be pretty good going into it but we'll hop over into game now and i'll show you exactly what i've put together in preparation of this event so the builds that we've got of course are all going to be featured down in the description below if you want to take a look at those after the video but we'll be starting off with something that a lot of you probably already think will be a good option going into this raid it is going to be slow bro water and psychic typing it's going to be able to take those water type attacks very comfortably on the setup 
It's also got a very good defensive stat, going to be able to take those ground type attacks extremely well and not really going to be weak to those poison type attacks that could come out from the Swampert. And having the Psychic typing, you're going to be able to hit it for super effective damage. So the build itself is level 100. Everything that we cover is hyper train, making sure those IVs set to 31. We have the Shell Bell as the hell item on this slow bro. It gives us a line of recovery throughout the raid where we're not having to concentrate on those healing cheers throughout the raid. Now, the moveset that we've got on this slow bro is predominantly going to be centered around the more physical based Swamp Bird. We could change this up and slot something like Amnesia in over the slack off if we see it being a mixed swamper and we need that cover on the special defensive side but the moveset that we've got for the moment is going to be slack off it is going to give us a bit of recovery if we need it throughout the raid iron defense nasty plot and then stored power is going to be our main attacking option the ev spread that we've got on this slow bro is going to be 252 in hp 252 in special attack with the rest put into defense with a modest nature and the ability on the slow bro can be pretty much anything at this stage it doesn't really play into so much effect in this raid the basic premise of this is going to be I guess turn one going for that iron defense and then chasing down your terrestrialization with those stored powers early on it's probably worth pp max and stored power as well once it nullifies our stats whenever that will be in the raid that's when you want to really concentrate and going for those nasty plots get them boosted up get those iron defenses boosted up and then start launching the stored powers off which its power is based off the amount of stat boost that you have had more stat boost you've had the higher the base power of that move and then combine that with the terrestrialization and the already stab that you get on the slow bro it's going to be hitting and cutting through the swarm put very well in this raid and i think a very good option probably one that you already have built in game and something that is going to be easy to put together to make easy work of the swarm put when it goes live later this week next up is going to be jotonian quagsire i think a really good option going into this one i think you could look at clodsire as an option because it does also have water absorb but i think the poison typing makes you a bit more susceptible to those ground type attacks that are inevitably going to come out from the Swamp Earth. So the Quagsire being a water and ground type, it does give you more balance against the Swamp Earth. Of course, the ground typing as well going to give you a resistance to those poison type attacks. So really helping all around. We've got the Expert Belt as a held item. The Terror typing is ground, level 100, hyper trained with the moveset of Recover, Mud Slap, Curse and Earthquake. And we have the ability, the most important thing probably on this Quagsire is going to be Water Absorb. Going to give us a complete immunity to any of those water type attacks that could come out from the Swamp Herd. Like I say, with that Grand Typing and then the Grand Terror Typing, we're going to have that resistance as well from those Poison type attacks that could come out from Swampy. So the EV spread we've got is going to be 252 HP, 252 attack, and then the rest put into defense. Again, you could probably change this up once the raid goes live, once we kind of have that confirmation that it is going down a more physical route than a special route. You could take that HP investment out and put it all into defense and just go 252 attack, 252 defense, and then the remaining six into that HP stat. We've got the recovery there with the Quag size. So if we need to top up our HP throughout the raid, you've got that option there. And I think early on in the raid, before our stats are inevitably nullified at some point, we want to concentrate on chasing down our terrestrialization, going for those mud slaps. The nice thing about mud slap is as well, those the accuracy on the, the swamp hurts moves. So once our stats have been nullified, then you can go for the curses, get to plus six, and then just start firing off those earthquakes, which will be doing a lot of damage, hitting it for super effective damage. But all in all, I really think Quagsire could be a decent option this weekend. It's something to look at, especially most of the options that we've got in this video today are going to be based on special attacking side of things, whereas Quagsire gives us a physical option over the F anything else. Next up is Mew, and I wouldn't normally put legendary Pokemon in this bracket for these best builds, but we did have that Mew event last year, and for those of you that were able to pick up a Mew when it was given out as a mystery gift, you're going to have option to use Mew in this game, and I do think it is a very good option going into this raid because it does have some good utility. Psychic Terror typing on here, level 100, Shell Bell as the held item to give us that line of recovery. The moveset we've got is Iron Defense, Acid Spray, Nasty Plot, and then Stored Power. The ability is locked, so that's synchronized. And the EV spread for the Mew is going to be 252 in Special Attack, 252 in Defense, with the remaining EVs put into HP, and then a Modest Nature. The basic idea of this is going to be, again, chasing down that Terrestrialization using your Acid Sprays. You've got Iron Defense. If it is hitting on the physical side, you can set one of those up. You're going to take less damage 
from those big offensive physical type attacks and then once you are free to set up those nasty plus you get three of those off and then with that combination with the acid spray that's going to reduce the special defense on the swampert even through the shield you'll be then able to trastalize and use that stored power to its maximum potential iron defense is great there as well just to give you a little bit of a buffer and with that shell bell item you're going to have a nice line of recovery throughout the raid to make it pretty seamless i do feel like mew could be quite a good option if you've got access to one in game if you don't you might have one from another game in pokemon home that you can transfer into scarlet and violet but something to definitely look at when the raid goes live later this week next up is going to be vaporeon surprise surprise it feels like vaporeon is slotting right into what was that annihilate slot from last year when the terror raids were constantly coming out but vaporeon just feels like such a moldable pokemon at the moment with terror raids and for good reason it's got a great ability we've had a lot of water type pokemon recently as well so that might explain a lot of it but for the Vaporeon, we've got the Psychic Terror Typing. We've got the Expert Belt as a held item. Level 100, Hyper Trained, of course. Move set for this Vaporeon is going to be Mud Slap, Acid Armor, Calm Mind, and Stored Power. The most important thing, the ability, Water Absorb again, giving us complete immunity to those water type attacks. That'll actually heal us throughout the raid, which is really nice if Swampert decides to go down that route. With an EV spread of 252 in HP, 252 in Special Attack with a Modest Nature, and the rest put into that Defense stat. So the basic idea again is going to be getting an Acid Armor up early on in this raid to take those Earthquakes, Poison Jabs a lot better. Then go for those mud slaps, chase down that trastalization when it nullifies our stats on our side of the field. Then we're free to go for the calm mines, boost your calm mines up and then trastalize, go for stored power. And it should be pretty much straightforward from that point on, of course. It's not as easy to say that because we don't know how the raid's going to interact, when it is going to nullify stats, when it is going to nullify its stats, etc. But once we know that, I feel like the Vaporeon could be a very consistent option going into this one. And if you've been doing raids recently, you're definitely going to have a Vaporeon built in your game already. So there's only a few things that you're going to have to tweak to make this build so you can go in and use it against the Swampert when it goes live later this week. Next up is Latios. So again, a little bit like the Mew, you can, if you've got the DLC packs, of course, access Latios and Latias, which is the next one. Uh, or you might have it in a previous version of the game that you can trade in from Pokemon Home. But I think a very good option to even consider going into this raid this weekend because it has got a good ability that's going to kind of benefit it along with that dragon typing as well. It really gives it the resistance from those water type attacks. So dragon and psychic are its main typing. The terror typing is psychic. Shell Bell is the held item for that reason to give us a little bit of longevity throughout the raid with recovery the move set that we're going for with this latios is going to be sunny day calm mind luster purge and stored power the ev spread is going to be 252 in hp 252 in special attack with the rest put in defense and the ability is locked in it is levitated so meaning that we're going to have complete immunity to any ground type attacks that could come out from the swamp herd. i think the only thing that you're gonna to have to really worry about are those poison jabs the sunny day is nice because it is going to disrupt if the Swamp Bird has got Rain Dance, you can disrupt that, power down the water type attacks. And while you're going for that initial setup as well, you have the Dragon type and you have the Sun up. Those water type attacks aren't really going to be causing you any issues at all. Plus the Purge is really nice because it has a 50% chance to reduce the special defense stat on the target Pokemon. And it is a good base power attack as well, 100% accurate. So 50% of the time you're going to be reducing that special defense stat on the Swamp Bird powering up your stored powers once you've been able to get a few calm mines up as well that stored power after you terrestrialize will be hitting extremely hard but a decent option especially if you're a big latios fan going into this weekend i think the only thing that you would maybe consider going into this is depending on how well you take the physical attacks maybe it's worth slotting in something like reflect or a defensive kind of boosting move here on the latios over something like sunny day that could just give you a little bit more security against those physical type attacks and when and if they do come out from the swamper but otherwise i think latios definitely something to look at probably one that i will test going into this raid when it goes live on thursday and last up for today's build is going to be the counterpart to latios it is going to be the lati twin of latias again dragon and psychic we've been through all the reasons why that typing is good terror typing is psychic shell bell is the held item here level 100 hyper trained of course and the moveset very similar going to be sunny day calm mind mist ball and stored power so a lot of the similar sort of things that you're going to see that we did with the latios we're going to do with the latias it's got a bit better defenses though so it can take attacks a lot better you've got mist ball over the luster purge this is the signature attack of latias and it will reduce the target special attack now this might not come into play at all and 
I, as I said with the Latios, if you need a defensive boosting move here, I think something like Reflect could probably be better fit on over Mist Ball because if it's not got any special attack and moves the Swampert, then that really becomes a little bit null and void. But the Sunny Day works as it did with the Latios to reduce the power of those water type attacks, especially more when you do Terrestrialize Combine to boost your special attack, special defense, and that's going to power up the stored power. So when you do terrestrialize, you're going to be able to hit a lot harder and you do have that levitate ability as well. EV spread on this one is going to be 252 in HP, 252 in defense, and then the rest put into special attack with a modest nature. So I think some pretty solid options. I think if you're looking at them, I think the slow bro is going to do extremely well. You can probably bank on the Vaporeon doing a decent job. It might not be the fastest, but it's probably going to be able to beat the Swampert, whatever, regardless of what it sets up, tries to do. I hope the Mew works because I feel like the Mew could be a very good option. Depending on the build and the move set of the Swampert, Quagsire could be a good option. And then we've got the Lati Twins as well, which are just alternative options. But if I was to pick one, I think I'd have to go with the Slowbro for this one. But we'll have to wait and see what happens when the event goes live later this week. So do let me know down in the comment section below what you think will be the best solo build going into this raid when it goes live. It'll be interesting to see what comes out on top. Of course, we cover all of these best solo builds when the event goes live. We do a testing phase and then we put out what is going to be the most consistent, most accessible and most reliable solo to go through and farm this event if you want, because it's likely going to have Herba Mystica drops with it. And the last couple of seven star raids have not been ones that we've been able to run through very quickly. But if we can get something that runs through it very quickly, it's going to make it a very good raid for farming. Not only those Herba Mystica, but the other high cost items that we do get alongside it. But really looking forward to this one. Swampert, one of my favorite starter Pokemon. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I hope you found today's video useful. If you have, you want to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon content as well as our raid content as well. And don't miss that best builds video. Do hit the subscribe button turn on notifications if you've enjoyed today's video and found it useful please drop a like it does really help the video out and i appreciate every bit of support that we do get it is free as well to do so just shows me that you're enjoying this content and you want me to keep on doing it but thank you so much friends have a great rest of your day and i will see you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care and bye bye